Hey, I'm Kara, founder of Bravely Go, and as I recently shared in this video, I am not buying any more clothes this year. In fact, I'm taking this year to educate myself about how to make my clothes last longer, about how to identify high quality clothes, and just how to treat my clothes better in general. So today I wanted to talk about how you can make your clothing last longer. If you're into this kind of content and you want our tiny channel to survive, please give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit subscribe. But without any further ado, Let's get into these tips. First, you should think of your clothing as an investment. I'm a big thrifter. The pants I'm currently wearing, these jeans, I got at a thrift store. And that's where about 50% of my clothes come from. The top I'm wearing, I got for free at a clothing swap. And that's where the other 50% of my clothes come from. Unfortunately, due to the increase of fast fashion, especially in the last five years, there is a wild amount of really poor quality clothing at thrift stores these days. Shein, Forever 21, H&M, and Target brands like Wild Fable absolutely dominate thrift stores. Fast fashion has gotten so bad that popular reseller website ThreadUp has banned clothes from Wild Fable, Shein, and H&M, among many others, from their platform entirely. By design, they are made as cheaply as possible with the intention that they die as quickly as possible. So you will spend more money replacing them as soon as possible. So to make your clothing last longer, think of clothing as an investment. Think of it the same way that you would shop for furniture. You spend $900 on a couch, you keep it for 15 years, and you use it multiple times a day, every single day. That's a worthwhile investment. You can make that same investment in your clothes by buying clothes with quality fabrics that fit you well, that come in a silhouette that you like and that is your style, and that are the color that works with your skin tone. And speaking of high quality fabrics, number two is to buy high quality fabrics. And if you're like, okay, Kara, but you keep saying this phrase, high quality fabrics, what are they? I did two hours of research to figure that out. And if you're like, wow, that is very impressive and also a little horrifying that you spent that much time on this, please consider becoming a patron to help support our channel. Fabrics fall into two very broad categories, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are generally going to last you longer than synthetic ones. Here's a list of natural fibers. Cotton, wool, silk, bamboo, and hemp. And here are synthetic fibers. Polyester, rayon, acrylic, nylon, spandex. So when you're shopping, you wanna look for clothes made predominantly or entirely from natural fibers. A silk dress is going to last you a lot longer and stay in much nicer shape than a polyester dress. Number three, designate at-home clothes versus outside clothes. I have been doing this for years, not even realizing that this is a way to protect my clothes. Basically, you wanna have comfy, softer clothes that you wear inside the house, and you keep your nicer, more durable clothes for when you're outside of the house. It's a lesson that we all learned in 2020. Hard pants like jeans, they are not made for inside the house, my friends. When we wear our clothes, our body oil and our skin gets all over them, meaning we need to wash them. If you wear clothes for fewer hours, you don't need to wash it as much and you don't get as much of you know, your body stuff on them. So dividing your clothes up into inside clothes and outside clothes means you'll wear each set for fewer hours at a time, meaning you'll put less wear and tear on them in general. And that is going to extend the life of both sets of clothing. Number four is wash your clothes less. I know this one is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of my fellow Americans, but it really is not necessary to wash all of your clothing after you've only worn them for five, six hours. Washing machines and dryers especially are really hard on your clothes. And a lot of the thicker fabrics that we have, like jeans, like wool, you can go several wears between washes. So try to get between three and 10 wears for each item before you wash it. Obviously, depending on what that item is, the type of fabric and what you did in it. Like I live in Austin, Texas, and sometimes just walking around outside in a pair of jean shorts in the summer for like two hours, that is enough for those shorts to need to be washed 100%. So I respect if you're in a hot climate or maybe you have a job where you're getting dirty a lot. Those clothes need to be washed every time, I get it. But if you sit in an office job and you're air conditioned or you work from home like I do, I don't need to wash this shirt after I wore it for one hour while filming this YouTube video. Take the clothes that you've worn for just a few hours, keep them separate from your clean clothing and make sure to ventilate them. Don't just leave them in a pile on the floor and don't put them back in the drawer with the clean clothing. Try to hang them up, put them over the back of a chair. I personally am a fan of a like rustic looking ladder that you can lean in your bedroom and you can drape your like kind of clean clothes on each rung of the ladder. It's aesthetic 
and it's useful. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna do this with clothing like underwear. You should be washing that every time. You can also utilize spot washing for clothes. If you wore a shirt for a few hours and the armpits got a little bit stinky, but the rest of the shirt's totally fine, just wash the armpits. This is gonna keep you smelling nice while protecting that shirt from the intensity of having to go through the washing machine with a really harsh laundry detergent and then going into the dryer. Number five, repair your clothes. In the US alone, an estimated 11.3 million tons of textile waste, which is equivalent to 85% of all textiles, end up in landfills every year. Just because that sweater started to pill or that sock has a hole in it doesn't mean you need to throw it out. In the United States, we are all super guilty of throwing out a lot of perfectly good clothing just because it's not in style anymore, or it got a little faded, or there was a tiny little hole at the bottom. Those clothes are still good, people, I promise. Also, every time you throw out a piece of clothing, it is literally like throwing out money. You know, like especially if it's just something that's got a teeny tiny hole in it, you, that's literally like throwing the 26 bucks you spent on that shirt right into the garbage. No, 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 no. That's not what we're about this year. This year, we are learning how to repair our clothing. You can learn how to darn a sock. You can learn how to do very minor hand sewing so you can fix clothes. And you can buy things like a sweater shaver so you can get that pilling that happens on a lot of our sweaters off and extend the life of the sweater. And when I say learning how to sew, I'm talking very basic stuff here, people. Like, I do not know how to use a sewing machine. I would like to learn, but right now, it's just not realistic for my life. However, I know how to sew by hand and I have been able to save socks, I saved a jumpsuit, I have sewn up leggings and exercise shorts just because they had a little tear and I was able to whoop, 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 boom. All of a sudden, these shorts are ready to go again for another 10 years, hopefully. I honestly think that a lot of people in the United States believe that learning how to sew is a waste of their time or it's below them somehow. I know a lot of people who would rather throw something out as soon as it stops being less than 100% perfect because they would rather spend their time earning more money to just buy a new item than they would spend their time learning how to repair that item. And I think this is really a sign of the sickness that is consumer culture, especially when it comes to clothes. I know I cannot be the only one who gets really attached to clothing because I like how it looks on me. I'm like, oh, this pair of jeans make my butt look good. I wanna keep them forever. Well, if that pair of jeans gets a hole in them, I'd rather repair that hole than have to go out and try and find a brand new pair of jeans that make my butt look good. So join me in making this year the year that we step back a little bit from consumer culture and we start repairing the things we already have. Number six, wash your clothes smarter. Like I mentioned before, washers and dryers are really incredibly tough on your clothes. Make them less so by washing your clothes on cold, using less detergent than you think, skipping using plastic wrapped detergent pods, and air drying your delicate clothes. If you're going to use a dryer, make sure to skip the dryer sheets and the fabric softener. They both work by degrading your clothing, making them more susceptible to tears and odors over time. Also, a quick note that I just learned about those little detergent pods, because I know they're super convenient, they are creating more microplastics because that plastic dissolves, but it doesn't disappear. It just becomes really teensy tiny and then goes right into our water systems and like ends up inside of us. So please skip those pods. And finally, number seven, then store your clothes properly. Not all clothes were born to live in a bureau or to be folded into a drawer. Coats should be stored in bags in their off seasons, which will protect them. Hats can be stored in hat boxes. Think marvelous Mrs. Mavel with her many hat boxes. And sweaters should always be folded instead of hung in the closet. Sticking to the proper storage technique for a specific piece of clothing will help keep it in better shape for a longer period of time. So that's the tea on how to keep your clothes alive and in great shape for longer, y'all. Definitely let me know in the comments if you've got more tips, if there's something that you think I should know about extending the life of clothes. That is my mission this year and hopefully for more years of my life. Please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and hit subscribe.